Blessings, Shalom fam. Welcome to the channel. For those who do not know, my name is Crystal. Welcome. Forgive me for the background. I'm in the basement. It's not my place, so forgive me for all the ornaments. I don't celebrate Christmas, but I do what I need to do to get a word out or whatever that the case may be. Wherever God leads me to do, got to do what you got to do. Anyways, I'm coming for a quick um, prayer, a deliverance prayer for um, substance abuse and alcohol. It was requested from a sister in Christ, your name, Sue. Sue, this is for you. Um, I prayed about it. I've never actually made up my own kind of deliverance prayer. I know that the Lord has called me to do it um, in his timing, but it's all in training too. So I am new at this. I did kind of take a little bit of notes from uh a website that I seen about prayer and then I just uh, got the Lord to or the Holy Spirit to help lead me to add any more things and I try to look up every single substance abuse including alcohol that was a part of it so I am going to say the prayer I will do it as slow as I can so that you can repeat after me um, I think too that there is a way that you can um, go on I forget it's like a settings or something that every word that I speak that you are able to see it I've I, if anybody knows what that's called just write it in the comments because I know I remember um, from another deliverance prayer that I did against witchcraft and the Jezebel I think the, the Ahab spirit that somebody said I think it's like a moderator or something that uh, you're able to see um, the words that I speak from the video I would like to know how to put um, the CC on there, but uh, the way that I seen it from the settings on there that you actually have to type it out by yourself. And to me, that would be a lot of work and I don't know how to do that. So, but yeah, if anybody knows how to do that kind of stuff, please let me know because um, I would like to even reach deaf people that are deaf, but I don't know how to do that stuff on here. But anyways, I'm going to get into the prayer, so don't mind me if I'm looking down at my tablet, okay? I'll try to go as slow as I can. This is a prayer again for all substance abuse and alcohol. Father God, I come before you today. I repent of every sin of drug addiction that I have committed against my body and against you in the name of Jesus. For it is written in 1 John 1, 9, If we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Please take complete control of my life from this day forward. I cannot do it on my own. And I need your help to deliver me from these addictions that I am suffering from. For it is written in Philippians 4.13 that I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Father God, my body, my soul, and spirit, I commit into you your hands. Please cleanse me with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. My chest is getting all hot. Thank you, Lord. For it is written, Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. According to Psalms 50, verse 15. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I renounce, I uproot, and I bind up the spirit of pharmakia. In the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I renounce and uproot all opiates, codeine, oxycodone, morphine, barbiturates, benzodiapines, dexotronapine, methamphetamine, cocaine, methamphetamines, amphetines, I can't say that, Ritalin, Sirlet, Glues, paint thinners, gasoline, laughing gas, aerosol sprays, hashish, marijuana, alcohol, tranquilizers, 
GHB, which is gamma hydrobutrite, and any other depressants. Fentanyl, heroin, any anabolic steroids, any hallucinogens, hallucinogens such as LSD, mescaline, pezobine, magic mushrooms, cigarettes, vaping. Man, my chest is really getting all hot. For my life in the name of Jesus. For it is written, according to Matthew 15, 13, For every plant that which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Father God, remove me from the heart of stone that is panting after the spirit of pharmakia. In me, in the name of Jesus, for it is written in Ezekiel 36, 26, that a new heart will you also give, a new spirit that you will put inside of me, and take away the stony heart out of my flesh, and that you will give me a new heart of flesh in the name of Jesus. Father God, create in me a new heart and a new spirit that I will only be addicted to nothing but the word of God in the name of Jesus. According to Ezekiel 36, I mean 35, 26 to 27. Heavenly Father God, please fill me with the fullness of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, according to Luke eleven thirteen, in the name of Jesus. Father God, as I make my conscious effort to do without all these addictions that I face, please release me to the supernatural power to hate these addictions to never indulge in them again from this day forward in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord of hosts, please deliver me from every spirit of self-destruction that pretend to be an addiction in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father God, I thank you now for delivering me from the spirit of bondage of addiction. I loose the spirit according to Matthew 18, 18. The spirit of holiness, righteousness, the things that are pure and that are pleasing to you in the mighty name of Jesus. For you have created me for your glory. According to Isaiah 43, 7. Teach me. Lead me. So that I can be used for your glory. According to your will. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. All done. I thank you guys. I hope this was a blessing to somebody. And I noticed too, when I did that prayer, I, you know, um, I talked about, um, glues and, um, what is it? Uh, glues. Hang on a second. Glues, paint thinners, gasoline and laughing gas, such so forth and so forth. Yes, there is people that do that because where I'm originally from back home in Canada, um, where I lived in Manitoba, a lot of people do that there and it is by far I've seen people do it right right on the streets even um, mouthwash and stuff so I pray that this prayer was a blessing to somebody I love you guys if you need any help health any help any support any guidance 
into from being delivered from addictions and you want to be closer with God and you want to learn want to know and how to learn how to be closer to him also to changing your people places and things will help you be delivered too as well because you cannot um, hang around people that do addictions you can't be in places that people do addictions and the things also that are around you because it can be a memory of it as well so if you guys need to email me, you can email me at God's Kingdom Counselor at gmail.com. And I will just mention your name and your information. And I will try to help you as much as I can. Give a note. It is all godly uh, principles. And if you email me and if you are a male, please keep it in godly structure. Okay, so I do have to say that first and foremost. I love you guys, and I pray that you guys are having a blessed Friday. Shalom. Shabbat tomorrow. Rest day. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.